Hello everybody, this year the NASTED conference will focus on training for leadership on nuclear safety matters. We will dedicate a special workshop uh, on this topic and we are here today together with Mr. Jacques Repoussard to discuss a bit about this topic. Uh, Mr. Jacques Repoussard is former Director General of, of the French Institut de Protection et Sûreté Nucléaire and uh, he is currently involved in several international projects focusing on leadership for safety. So we are going to ask to our expert, Mr. Repoussard, what makes this topic so important and timely? Hello, everybody. Um, well, leadership skills have long been recognized as a major success factor in the business environment. And there is every reason to believe that this is true also when it comes to managing safety. This is why international standards have been recently introduced in this field in order to better address human and organizational risk factors. Training for leadership is therefore becoming a growing need for managers with safety responsibilities. Indeed, the nuclear industry has excellent records on ongoing staff uh, training and dedicates and invest a lot of research on vocational education. So the question is, why uh, should uh, leadership development be a challenging problem? Well, I'm not questioning this uh, re record of the nuclear industry in training. Uh, and in fact, the issue is not so much about the logistics of such training. In my view, it's, uh, the problem is more about how to ensure that the training will have a lasting positive influence on the management style for the safety related matters, contributing to make the often heard slogan safety first much more than a slogan. And what do you mean exactly? Well, if leadership is taught primarily as an individual asset, it is likely that the established organizational context of the company, that means it's also its formalized work procedures and its underlying culture will soon prevail over any lasting attempts by the people who have been trained to exercise leadership as they were taught. And I'm saying this because an interesting study by Harvard University has found this to be a common occurrence in industry in general, with the conclusion that in fact this training for leadership often failed its purpose. So what we should discuss in the NSTED workshop is how leadership should be viewed and taught essentially as a collective asset, able to positively influence the organization itself, the whole organization's approach to uncertainties, decision making, and its safety culture. Of course, this will require a strong commitment by senior management to such an approach. And it will also require innovation in the way leadership for safety, for safety is taught, drawing on the most recent multidisciplinary findings of management and social sciences, as well and of course as on industry experience. This is quite an exciting discussion in perspective, I believe. Thank you, Jacques. So we'll provide for sure to all participants the increasing results of this Harvard article you mentioned before. I want to invite you all to the next uh, NASTED conference, 15-17 November in uh, Brussels. And to prepare this workshop, I also want to invite you to the preliminary seminar Why do leadership trainings fail and what to do about it? It will be held online on the 18th of October together with Mr. Jacques Repoussard and Professor Catherine Thomas from Université Côte d'Azur. Professor Thomas is also leading uh, the ALSE project, European Leadership for Safety Education. So please join us, join our discussion and share your point of view. Stay tuned, we will share with you the details uh, in the coming weeks and uh, see you at the seminar and then the NASTED conference. Thank you.